The Glasgow-based artist Ronnie Heaps mounted an exhibition of his large circular paintings, Kaleidoscopic Forms, at the Weekend Gallery during July 2017. Ronnie Heaps began painting in the mid-1990s. Before that, he set up the Scottish Luminaries, which created light installations for various public events, music and theatrical productions. Some 15 years later, he revisited this medium to create light shows projected onto public buildings. Here is one he did in Stoke-on-Trent. He has worked through many different styles and phases. He does not like to stand still as an artist, but constantly explores new ways of expression. His work is always exacting, detailed and thoughtful, often with a whimsical humour. His first one-man exhibition was at the Fortiviate Gallery in 1999. There he showed some large figurative paintings, many of which had surreal and humorous elements. He also explored the disintegration of the face into abstract flowing forms, perhaps drawing on his experience of developing light shows, which often involved a fragmentation of forms. Another major show was his Frankie and Other Stories at the Embassy Gallery in Edinburgh, 2005. Here he continued working with figurative painting, drawing on the Frankenstein myth for some of the material. In 2006, he was commissioned to create a series of paintings based on Sir Walter Raleigh from the Mont Ongi castle in Jersey. His work here was painstaking and highly detailed. He even carved the frames for each of his paintings, which are on permanent display there. One can see how Heaps has studied Renaissance ornamental forms and reworked them into a modern pictorial language. We perhaps see this at its best in at the court of the Fairy Queen. Anyone for Rounders was his 2007 exhibition at the KFA Gallery in Berlin. Here he felt drawn to painting on circular canvases. As a theme, he worked with various modern iconic images reworking them in a humorous way. Thus he used the now famous image of Frida Kahlo, now looking severe in a snowstorm, Margaret Thatcher with cartoon figure breasts, and the well-known image of Queen Elizabeth I, now bearing the face of Madonna. Apart from his 12 solo shows, he has contributed to nearly 30 group exhibitions and over 20 public art events and performances. In 2011, he was commissioned by the Open Eye Gallery to create a film celebrating Sir David Brewster, the Scottish scientist who invented the kaleidoscope in the early 19th century, and more generally, had contributed so greatly to the understanding of light that he was described as the father of experimental optics. Perhaps arising from working on this project, Ronnie Heaps was impelled to create large oil paintings based on this kaleidoscopic imagery. And it is some of these that he has chosen to exhibit at the Weekend Gallery. Three of these kaleidoscopic forms in the exhibition 
are some four and a half feet, one meter fifty, in diameter, while the smaller ones are three feet, one meter wide. They fill one's field of view when standing only a few feet away. Ronnie has chosen to adopt flowing organic forms rather than linear and angular elements. He seems to find a key colour for each work and then chooses his palette to reflect and harmonise with that. Ronnie gave us an explanation of how his compositions were structured. The interesting thing about the kaleidoscope is that when you're doing these paintings, it's just a question of painting one particular wedge. When you think about the kaleidoscopic form, the wedge is like that. You've got this wedge here, and you take that, and then you flip it over like that, which makes this shape here, and then that shape is flipped over, and then once you get to that bit, this bit is flipped over once again, and that makes the whole kaleidoscopic composition. The forms on his kaleidoscope paintings are modelled to give them a three-dimensional quality. When, when you're considering light in a kaleidoscope, in particular in these paintings, the light source always comes from the centre. When you think of this one, the light is here and it's coming through here. And if you think of that as a sphere, like the highlight is there and the shadow is there, so the light is obviously like, going there, going in that direction. And the thing is, because it's like one wedge, and the light source is coming from there. So when you flip it over, the light source is coming from there, and it's coming from there, and it's coming from there. Now this is actually quite important in terms of the kaleidoscope, because when you look at normal kaleidoscopes, the light source is always coming from one direction. This is actually why these things actually look quite flat. In relation to this one, in terms of the light, this is actually the first one I've tried to use a, a different light source. If you look at this one, the light is actually coming from this direction. And if you see it, like in the shadows here, I'm actually causing the light coming from this direction. This isn't really a true kaleidoscope uh, the picture in terms of the, the, the light form, because normally, that, as I said before, the light comes from the centre. I just thought I would try and do this to try and like, uh, bring a bit more sort of the three dimensional aspects of the painting. And uh, this is going to be a, an ongoing thing from now on. Ronnie Heaps has purposively not given titles to his kaleidoscope paintings, as he does not wish to lead people to a particular way of viewing them, but rather let the viewer find their own way into the work. During the exhibition, we find a number of people describing elements they found in a painting. Often these were quite personal and tied to the viewer's previous experience of artworks. As we have seen, these kaleidoscopic forms have a rigid six-fold rotational geometry underlying them. Ronnie has avoided linear and angular forms, instead using organic shapes which allow each wedge of the painting to smoothly blend into its neighbouring segment. In this painting, he uses very muted colours and smooth, gradual modelling. In the next form, he has desired to use much more saturated and intense colours. Viewers were especially drawn to this painting and found sprays of drops and orchid-like shapes. Here there is a clear sense of a division between centre and periphery. One might see the simple shapes exploding from the centre and being transformed into more complex images as they moved outwards towards the circumference. The next two smaller paintings seem to form a pair as their structure is so similar. Here we show them side by side. The shapes that compose each painting are almost identical, with small variations. And here heaps seem to have been rather exploring how different colourings would leave different impressions on the viewer.
In this large painting, the geometric angular forms at the centre appear to become progressively more organic towards the periphery, ending in shapes that appear almost like orchid flowers. In the third of his kaleidoscopic forms, Ronnie Heaps uses an intricate intermeshing of organic shapes, almost like plant shoots, that are modelled so they sit above other such elements. Here he creates depth, situating the forms in three-dimensional space, with the eye being drawn through the perspective created by the receding lilac spheres to a seemingly infinite distant central space. Ronnie has already explained how he worked this painting in a different way to the others, by applying the virtual light source not from the centre but from the left. The effect is rather subtle and few visitors recognised this until it was pointed out to them. No doubt he will develop this way of working further in the future. Ronnie Heap's kaleidoscopic forms are very decorative and yet imposing paintings. They draw the eye to them and because of their scale one can immerse one's visual field within them. Although initially they may seem simple, they have sufficient complexity that one finds new things in them each time one revisits them. As we have seen, these kaleidoscopic forms are only one station along his artistic career, and no doubt he will continue to surprise us with future developments. Ronnie Heap's mind does not stay still. He is constantly exploring new ideas. <laughs>